The Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast on demand. Kelly, describe what a setting the bar story is. Well, it's still to that. Yeah, if you manage to make it through the day without doing this, then you're doing okay. So if you can manage to make it through the day without getting fired, when you're the city's only wizard, you're doing okay. Oh, dang. Wait a second. A city had a an official wizard? Like, were they getting paid? Christchurch in New Zealand has an official wizard, or I should say is going to be short one official wizard come December oh, no. as they are going to stop paying Ian, a.k.a. the goofier Dumbledore, as he describes himself, OMG. Uh, about $16,000 a year to provide acts of wizardry and other wizard-like services to the town. Oh, wow. And that's like New Zealand money. So that's like, what, 10000 U.S. dollars? That was a year. That was pretty quick on the exchange rate, Kelly. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's been in this role <laughs> since 1998. You're a wizard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And for him to lose his job like this, man, tough times. But the city says, look, we don't want to be known as the wizard city anymore. They want to they want to change their promotional landscape. They want to go in a different direction and all those other sort of um, HR sort of excuses that you get when you get the pink slip, you know? Oh, man, listen, I feel like that is a mistake because I am just now learning that there was such a thing as an official city wizard. And now I kind of am going to put that on my bucket list to go to that city in New Zealand and meet him. uh, Because how many other cities can say they have an official wizard? Kelly, I'm not I'm not worried about that for the same reasons you are. But he describes himself as a goofy wizard, but. As uh-huh. soon as he's sacked, as soon as he's fired, he could turn into an evil wizard. And oh. we don't need evil wizard running around the city of Christchurch there in New Zealand performing evil wizard sort of things. No, let's keep him in the fun wizard zone for sure. Didn't he like, he's got good ratings on TripAdvisor. Yeah, four out of five stars. And Dang. he said, listen, you're going to, they're going to have to kill me to stop me, which already makes it sound more menacing and oh, that wow. he's turning more into a life of crime and evil. Um, But what I'm also hearing is that he's willing to do the job for free. So, so, I don't know if that's going to help. So, I don't know if that's going to help him, right? To get back the paying gig. Exactly, exactly. But I admire his determination. He's not hanging up the wizard hat. So, the city's like, yeah, we're going to stop paying you. And he's like, well, I'm going to keep doing it anyway. So, they're like, all right, so we're going to save ourselves $16,000 a year. Oh, wow. (laughs) He needs a better agent. Right. Um, so again, I don't like this set in the bar story. I think it's on the wizard, uh, where, you know what? If you're the only one providing a service in the, in the town you're in, don't get fired. You're a wizard. Well, that, Harry. Yeah. That should make him like the most valuable city employee, shouldn't it? Like there's not anybody else that has his skill set. Right. So mm, again, that's if, tragic. If you can manage to make it through the day without getting fired. When you are the city's only wizard. Oh, you know what? I think we need a wizard. You're doing Should we invite okay. him to come here? I mean, I'm not, you know, I can't pay him. I was going to say. I don't know say. if it's in the city budget, but. <laughs> right. I just, I think it would be fun. Right. I mean, we could add another bike lane or we could get a city wizard. My money's on the wizard. <laughs> there you go. That's steady the bar.